Welcome to the Farmcast. So we are back with another top three, bottom three. Um, this time we're going to be talking about inventions. So I hope you guys uh, are prepared to really spit some hot takes about inventions from the history of humans. Yeah, uh, I think this is a good topic. There's a lot of inventions in the world. So yeah, uh, we, have, there's a we have a nice wide variety to choose from here. Yeah, th- there's a couple that, you know, we could talk about. Uh, but before we get into this top three, bottom three, I just want to give a little update uh, on a previous top three, bottom three that we did. Um, some of our pre- uh, viewers or listeners might remember our top three, bottom three fast food item or fast food places Uh and if you haven't listened to it already, you can go back on Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud, YouTube, all of those places and listen to it. But in my bottom three, I had one thing, one place that I want to remove. Uh, it's Pizza Hut. I want to take him out of there. Um, I had a Big Dipper uh, <laughs> last night. Okay. And uh, it was very good. What and is that? So, What's a Big Dipper? So it's big as fuck. Um, I, oh, I only suggest I, it if like I, you have a friends over. It's meant for families, and I got it for myself. Yeah, how how the, does it taste? It's big as fuck. That's part. how it tastes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah well, well, hold up. I'm getting there. It's meant for um, families and Zach. I'm getting yep. there. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's completely meant for families. It's a two foot long like pizza kinda and it's like you take out little sticks and it gives you dipping sauces and you like choose your own adventure and I got it cause I'm like I gotta try this like it looks cool and now I'm set for like meals for like the next couple days I'm pretty sure um and oh, it was really good I've it was never impressive. heard of pizza being compared to a choose your own adventure novel before well it has a lot of different sauces that you can dip it in so you Such choose as. your own adventure uh, okay, well, you're not going to like the first one. It's ranch. Oh, ranch. Let's go. Uh, they've got a ranch, uh, a honey barbecue, marinara, and it, it's just two marinara sauce. So those are it's basically three options that you can dip it in. Okay. So, yeah. Wow. I felt like I had to throw that one out there. I had it, and I, I felt bad that they were in my bottom three. Well, at some point, um, you're going to have to find something to replace that with, so keep that in mind down the road. I know. I'll, I'll keep, uh, keep you guys updated. But... We're talking inventions, so I'm going to rattle off my top three uh, inventions, starting off with number one, no no order, but the first one is mugs. Okay. Um, who doesn't like a good mug? Uh, you can put coffee in it. You can yep. put anything in it if you want. Uh, I know people who put, like, crayons in their mugs and use it as, like, to give it to their kids. Um, I, have a, uh, I have a mug on my desk that uh, holds all my pens. Yep. The, uh, yeah. See, mm-hmm. you, you can do anything with a mug. Um, th- there's also a lot of different kinds of mugs. You know, you can get a farm packer cast mug, mugs, farm cast <laughs> mugs. Uh, That's it. DM us now if you want one. Uh, and they come in all shapes and sizes. So you can get a big mug. You can get a small mug. I think it's just a great. It's much better. Give me a mug over a glass. You know what I'm mug. doing right now? Take a guess. Drink it from a mug. Drink it from a mug. Mm-hmm. I am too. I got mine right How about next that? To See, I don't Let's really go. use mugs for anything. You don't you don't drink coffee though, do you? No, I don't. Yeah. Not well, even your little hot cocoa? Nope. Wow. Yeah. So like Really? Okay. Well yep. you're you're wrong. You're definitively <laughs> wrong. Objectively. I'm wrong just yeah. for not using a mug. Yeah. <laughs> you're just incorrect. So what do you drink out of? Like those little plastic cups? Or just a regular cup. I I'm know. actually I'm actually drinking uh, coffee out of like one of them like paper coffee cups. You know that you get from like a gas station. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, mugs are great for people who want to save the environment. Um, Ooh. So that's another thing. Fuck the environment. Mugs are Jack great for guilt tripping your die. friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the hell you want to die on. <laughs> oh man. Um. So yeah, mugs. Yeah, big fan of that one. Um. So. The next one on my list is, and hang with me here, um, voice GPS. No, uh, I'm, I'm all the way here with you. I don't so, need to hang with you at all. <laughs> so, uh, you know what sucks? Maps. They aren't in my bottom three, but maps suck. Um, I, voice GPS. You, sorry. What's that? No, sorry. I was going to say, I was okay. with you, but then you had to shit on maps. I'm not, I'm not with you anymore, but well, I'll let you Well, like maps. maps. You know what? Go on. 
Okay, yeah. So, do you, and this isn't even like, I guess the evolution of it is on our phones. But before that, the little Magellan you had to put in your car, the little device. Mm-hmm. So, getting, when I was little and that like came, that was like a thing and my parents got it, you could customize the voices. And you could like buy for 99 cents any voice you want to like tell you directions. So when we went up like on a trip up north, uh, my dad bought a George W. Bush uh, yeah. voice. Oh. So no. the whole ride there, we have George Bush narrating our trip. Bear left like the animal. And it what? is like, it was <laughs> the most absurd thing. And like, little kid me is like, this is the best thing ever. And still today, we, need, we that just evolved into on our phones. So... I think that's an incredible. I would say invention. devolved because I don't see that option on my phone. Yeah, that's I don't have true. the George Bush option on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I I've I don't know why they don't let you customize it more on your phone. That's see, kind of with the voices on my GPS on my phone, I turn that shit off because it always cuts off my music and it just pisses me mm-hmm. off so much. Yeah, yeah. I, I do the same. I do the same thing unless I'm on like like a long trip on a highway or something like that where it's like I'm on the highway for like 160 miles and I just won't look at my GPS and then I just I would end up flying past the exit or something like that. Yeah. No, yeah, that's the same same thing here. Especially if you're listening to a podcast and you get turn right. Or if you're like going through a weird intersection where they give you like three different like stay in the right lane. Stay in the right lane. Stay in the right lane. Then it's like, <laughs> fuck off. For a quarter mile, stay in the right lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now I, need, I need George Bush to be telling me, stay in the right lane. Quarter mile. Now watch this drive. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, that's like what the lines were like, along those lines. Um. So yeah, that's uh one of my top three. The next one, my final one on my top three are... I don't know what they're really called, but foot scoops. Um, I don't know what the real name is, but you know that little tool that they have at some, like, when you're getting shoes, that you put, you just slide your foot into a shoe very easily. Oh, no, that, um, I know the fucking name for that. Oh, God, it's going to Like the little me. nylon socks? No, he's talking no, about the little, like the, like the shoe Ooh. tongue. Yeah, yes, I think that's it. No, it's not. There's like a like a super fancy name for it. I'm gonna find this out. I have zero idea what you guys are talking about. So it's like it's like this little like metal like that you put your heel on and it puts it into the shoe. Oh, so you don't have to use your finger to like get yes. your shoe. Yeah, oh, to I pull get your heel back. Yep. Okay. A sh- oh, yeah. a shoehorn. It's a shoehorn. Shoehorn. shoe-horn. I'm gonna write yeah. that down so I know what the hell it's called. Um, yeah. Those are those are nifty. It's a very extra, um, very extra invention. Um, that, it's real bougie. Yeah, that definitely isn't necessary at all. But when they're available, man, they, they just they just help the shoe wearing experience so much. Um, the value that they have is pretty incredible, and <laughs> you feel if it's like an you just feel good putting the shoe on. Um, so yeah, I had to put that on there. I am always happy when I see one. They're great. You had no choice. Yeah, I I don't know. I would be Dude. honest. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't have thought about a shoehorn for top inventions, yeah. but I can see where you're coming from. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. All right, I believe I will go next. No. And uh, so I got a strong couple ones. Uh, so my number one is the wheel. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's a classic. So, um, it's nice. a very old invention. Uh, my number two, sliced bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> and I'm going to be talking about the wheel. I'll gas the wheel up because you know what? I think people don't give the wheel enough credit. Name one mobile vehicle that doesn't have a wheel. I'll wait. Airplane. Oh, never mind. Hel- yep. Fuck. You want Helicopter. Try it? They don't exist. So, wheels very um, important. Wheels then generate then... energy. Uh, through water and various other means. just It's just a fantastic invention. It was ahead of its time, I would say, whenever the hell it was invented, right next to fire. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> people sleep on the wheel. I agree. You got a point. So, I'll, you know what? I don't think enough people are giving the wheel credit today. I'll change that. I'll change the narrative around the wheel. It's oh, not shit. as important as my next invention, though. It really does need a rebrand, you know? 
People think of tires when they think of wheels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I think I think we they can think uh, of tires. Yeah, pathetic. Yeah, tires are also very important. Yeah, not as important as not the as wheel. important as the wheel. Yep. Now mm-hmm. it pales in comparison to number two. Oh shit! So, see if you can pick up what I'm throwing down here. Wood cutting axes are my number two invention. It's a great one. Now you might be thinking, hmm, seems pretty mundane. It's no wheel, but. See if you can follow my little line of thought. We would not be able to cut down trees without axes in the beginning of time. Okay. Eh, well, trying to harm the could, environment while you so, cut down could, trees, you asshole. You could With just the axes. get a, uh, a pet beaver, but, you know, go on. True, you could do that. Not starting off too hot, Kyle. I'm going to put it out there. Well, if my audacity didn't want to cut out, but we're going to try this one again. So... Axes are very important because they cut down trees. We use that wood. Now, you might be thinking, oh, we use that wood for fires or other things. No, 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 no. There's a much more important use for that wood. That use, that wood is going to be put into baseball bats. And oh. with those baseball bats, we get to watch Joey Gallo hit home runs. So, without oh. the wood cutting axe, we don't have a Joey Gallo. And that is the most important invention on my list. You know what? You, you really turned it. You really turned it around. Mm-hmm. I'd rather see Joey Gallo hit with a metal bat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> that one didn't factor into the equation. <laughs> I feel like a damn fool. <laughs> All right, so this one can uh, coexist with a uh, with like an aluminum metal alloy. That'll be they'll yeah. be right next to each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow! Shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's a good point. Not gonna lie. So it's still strong. I'm still going with it because the wooden bat was the OG. Without the wooden bat, we wouldn't have the aluminum bat. So why didn't that you just have the wood bat instead of the wood cutting axe? I think the axe is still an important invention. He needs to get his due. Cut down some trees. Well, because like you make fire. a bat, you make a wood bat on a wood it, lathe. Uh, let know. me. I'll, I'll I'll give you the reasoning why he put a wood axe because he was playing Animal Crossing, used an axe. He's like, oh, this thing kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Speaking of that, oh shit, my number three invention, Animal Crossing, the Fishing Nintendo around. Switch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, and a big reason, Animal Crossing, one hell of a game. Let me tell you. Oh okay. god, it has the wood cutting axe. It has wheels. That's it. What do you what else do you need? So the system that has Animal Crossing is inherently going to be the best system, let alone having such fantastic games as Super Mario, uh, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. I guess I'll throw Fire Emblem on there, but I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Anime you know what? <sighs> Not for me, dog. Well, it's got <laughs> Smash. Fire Emblem and yep. Smash shouldn't mix, but uh, Fire Emblem by itself is okay. Either way, Nintendo Switch, great system, and a top three invention that has ever been made. So, I love how you were going with, like, some basic early on invention, like the wheel, a classic, Mm -hmm. axe, I mean, we build houses, and then Nintendo Switch. You know what, I like to give uh, a lot of different generations their due. Okay, that, hey, fair enough. You, hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining, this is very able to be on top three. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, wow. my top three to recap, uh, the wheel, axes, and the Nintendo Switch. Okay. Quality list. All right, so list. I'll start with my top three for number one is going to be the cooling pillow. Oh, oh that thing slaps. Oh, okay. I <laughs> can't even remember the last time I didn't have a cooling pillow. And I'm, I'm a very hot sleeper as it is, so I'm always going to be sweating that cooling pillow. Saves my life. It makes it so much nicer to sleep. I'm not super hot at, in the middle of the night. I don't have to wake up and turn over my pillow. It's just always cool. Hmm. I don't have a cooling well, pillow. Well, you should. I was going to say. I'm going to be honest. They're tempting because awesome. I'm, a, I'm a big pillow flipper in the middle of the night. Yep. This yep. will just prevent that. Oh. Hmm. Do you I put, see. like, ice in it? Stays cold. Yeah, the whole I just time. fill my pillow with <laughs> bricks of ice. Huh. Yeah, it's not like a real invention. It's no, Becker's invention. I just have a big ice brick pillow. of ice that's in a pillowcase. That's my cool yeah, pillow. Yeah, ice pillow. Do is they that have the that same with guy? Is that different than the my pillow? Yes. Oh, okay. Because the my pillow guy is fucking insane. 
What's the my pillow? Yeah, what are you I don't know. About? It's just like this dude who invented a pillow. It's, it's just called my pillow. But he's like, all he did is invent this pillow factory and makes a bunch of pillows. And now somehow he parlayed that into like being a hype man for Donald Trump. It's so bizarre. What, what the fuck? Yeah, my pillow guy is a, is a legend of the game. Damn. So yeah, so cooling pillow number one. Number two, I am putting sweatpants. Mm, oh, okay. they were close to my list, Becca. I, I actually was thinking about it. I'm wearing I some right now. Don't like wearing jeans. Hmm. Yo, I mean, you, well, so not so much now because there's like the stretch jeans, but my legs are too damn big for regular pants. So sweatpants, <laughs> thick. yeah, thick boy over here. So sweatpants, <laughs> just rotund, super comfortable. Don't have to worry about stretching out my sweatpants. Don't have to worry about them constricting my legs. With anything, I can be active in them. I can wear them anywhere. They still look decent, and they're just, just great pants. You know yeah, what? You can get some. You can get some nice looking sweatpants. Yeah, I know. Too. Yeah, they you don't can. have to be like ratty. And the Especially ladies love uh, love a good pair of like gray sweatpants. This oh, yeah. is known. Yeah, so they can see my fat hog. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Oh man. I can't think of another reason. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good so, invention. Sweatpants number two, and then number three, I'm putting Minecraft servers. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft All server right. is probably Strong. one of the best things I've ever encountered and set up myself. Just playing Minecraft with the boys. I know this is a reoccurring theme. Kind of a hint, because we haven't been <laughs> playing Minecraft for a while now, and I'm like... I've logged on the blast like seven times according to my server screen, so... And nobody else has. But Minecraft server, a great a great invention just to play one game with all your friends at any time. Now like you can play by yourself if no one else is on. You don't have to be restricted by someone hosting the world on their computer or whatnot. You can just hop in whenever. And yeah, one of the best things I've ever encountered in my life, so Minecraft server. Okay, fine, Becker, I'll fucking play tonight. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> This is just Becker's platform to guilt people into playing more Minecraft. Guys, I'm yeah, playing yeah, Minecraft yeah. was a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Please, someone. So my so to recap, cooling pillow, sweatpants, and Minecraft servers. So when are we getting okay. the uh, the Farmcast public server going? Oh shit! I mean, we could. Hmm. Make some, I won't uh, be running that some dedicated off my laptop, uh, we'll statues that. Uh, dedicated to the Farmcast. Each, each, one of us, of each one of us gets a yep. statue for us. Some pixel art. Of just yeah. our oh. faces. Like the Mount Rushmore. Oh, of just oh. our faces. Yeah. I'm kind of in on this. I might, oh, I might yeah, hop sick. back into yeah. Minecraft. This is a great idea. The Farmcast Dynasty. <laughs> farmcast, the Farmcraft. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, stay tuned for the public server. Yeah, soon. <laughs> All right. My um my top three inventions ever. So, number one, I got uh, hot tubs. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. okay. Hot tubs are good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Can't agree. No, that's, that's about all I got for you. Hot tubs are good. Can confirm. Yeah. Hot tubs yeah, will not. You'll not get so any like, denial out of me. That's for damn sure. Are you talking like a jacuzzi with the jet streams? Oh, I mean, if you got jet screen, if you got jet streams, that's a plus. Okay, but okay. I've also never been in a hot tub without one, so yeah. I thought jacuzzi was just know. another name for a hot jacuzzi tub. is that's kind of what I thought too. Oh, oh. it's like, like how a Kleenex, Kleenex is a brand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I guess. Okay. okay. Shit. Okay. Yeah. No. There's. Um, I used to. Um, I used to go to my buddy's house after like baseball practice in middle school, and he had. Uh, he had a hot tub that had water jets, and I mean, we were just sitting there for an hour after every ba every baseball practice, and it's just incredibly relaxing. But just actually, I will dudes. I will put a little caveat on there. It has to be a private hot tub. I can't go to public hot tubs. Like I can't go to public pools. I think they're disgusting. No, agreed. Public yeah. pools belong in the trash. I think they are very mm, gross. The amount of chlorine yeah. that's in those yep. pools can kill absolutely anything, and you're just Wait. covered in it. Yeah, I mean, you're just, yeah, you smell terror. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I like, I like water and piss at that point. Right. 
right? I like water parks. I can embrace it. Yeah, I, I can fuck with the water park just because it's not like I'm sitting there thinking about what I'm soaking in. Right. But, yeah. like, at a public Standing pool. Water. Yeah, yeah. Everything's always moving, you know, so. Okay. In my That's brain, I'm thinking that it's filtered as it comes up the slide, which I know it's not, <laughs> but... Let yeah. me have this. <laughs> right. No, it goes through. No, no, no. You're right. It goes through all that. Like, it's totally fine. It's untouched water. It's good to drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> my favorite My favorite beverage, pool water. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to do a top three, bottom three beverages. Pool, pool water. water. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my number two... Um, my number two is washing machines. Um, Very nice. Hmm. Laundry, like clothes washers, uh, dishwashers, pressure washers, etc. All of them are all very good. Yep. I hate washing dishes by myself or like with my hands. I uh, could not imagine ever having to wash my clothes with my hands. I don't even know how you'd go about that. I don't know how you could get a stain out of anything. The Start washboard. Scrubbing. The washboard. I, well, like, I've seen yeah. that, like, in cartoons and stuff like oh, that, yeah. but I don't know. That that looks terrible. It it's looks some, uh, god-awful. Channel R, like, little uh, little house on the prairie, just live 1850s style. Hanging yeah. out with the washboards, with the boys. The, the boys wheels. washing out. clothes. Yeah. yeah, inventing wheels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. common knowledge. Chopping what, down wood. Yep, yeah, wheel and the axe were not invented until 1850. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Minecraft servers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounded better and better. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And pressure washers too. I think pressure washers are super, uh, super undervalued. Mm-hmm. Being able to wash your house or, or your car with a pressure washer is so much better than just a regular hose. See, my dad bought one like last summer, and he used it to wash his car or wash his truck. And he got a little too close, and he just like sprayed off some paint off the front. Oh, oh god! Dude, your dad must have a nice pressure washer. You yeah, need some he eat for it. that, man. Oh yeah. That's sick. It wasn't too much. It was just like a little mark, but it's like, well, let's stand a little further back now. Yeah. <laughs> Top three invention: water. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Think yeah. about that. Got to think about water. it. Water. I kind of, I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know that name before. Uh, God. Unfamiliar. Never heard of him. Timmy yeah. Fedora. You mean Ja? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call him his real name. <laughs> Okay. But uh, one one cool thing with power washers, uh, you can like clean it, your deck or your porch, your wooden, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. and it's it's so satisfying and beautiful yeah. to do. Oh, yeah. Like like when, whenever I tell my dad, if he ever needs the deck washed, get me because mm-hmm. like it is fun to do. Yeah, that looks so cool. Yeah, the pressure washer is sweet. Yeah. Yeah, we got a we got a little sidewalk. We use the pressure washer for that, and you can like see the the difference between like really where you you did spray and you didn't spray. Yeah. Oh, and then taking out like the little like plants in the cracks and shit. Oh yeah. Oh, that fuck them up. Send them suckers flying. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, that is very satisfying. All right. Um... Oh yeah, that was all. That was like three of them rolled into one. Okay, anyways, my last one: <laughs> um, back scratchers. Ooh, back scratchers are fire. I'm kind of realizing what I've been missing now. Shit. Yeah, dude, you. The thing about a back scratcher is, and the thing about your back is, you don't know how bad you need your fucking back scratch until you start using a back scratcher. And then it's literally, like, I feel like Ray Allen. Like, I'm getting there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it is such a good fucking Jesus. feeling, dude. <laughs> Do you guys disagree? No, no I don't disagree. Go on. No, dude. A back scratcher yeah, is so I feel so just nice. like Ray Allen after using a back scratcher. <laughs> yeah. 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 Zach, you what's know. your beef? Well. You don't like back scratchers? Fi- fi- finish, finish, finish your list. Well, that was, my, that was my cast. third one. Yeah, that was his last one. That was my okay. last one. Okay. Well, while if we're getting into bottom three, number one, back scratchers. Hmm. Um, what? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna. I, I have it on my list. I'm glad <laughs> right when you brought it up. Um, yeah, bottom three invention, back scratchers. That's just how objectively wrong. Yeah, that's how 
bad do you need to scratch your back that you go out of your way and buy a little tool to do it for you? If you listen to what I just said, you don't know that you need a back scratcher until you use a back scratcher. And I can then when scratch you do, my own back. I'm doing it right now. It's yeah, great. I, I don't. I'm, I'm not hating on a back scratcher at all, but I've never had like an itch I couldn't scratch on my back. Yes, yes. I've had some of those before. I don't have a back scratcher. There's just like a corner in my like house oh, yeah. that I use. <laughs> oh, yeah. Scratch the whole yeah, back like a bear. Like right off the cabinet what or the something. Fuck? No, that's you like a like a ba- corner. It's like a bear scratching his back on a tree. It's just like oh, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, like a it. staple, uh, like, 55-year-old, in-your-own-home kind of, uh, that's the like ultimate dad move. Yeah, but it's worse. My dad does that all the time. Yeah. Oh, my God. In his defense, my dad has two broken arms. I don't really know what your excuse is. Yeah. Well, I can't, I can't get over the, th- <laughs> the thought of Becker just like, it's like 3 a.m. <laughs> He's just silently going down the stairs. Sees his little scratch in corner. Oh Lord, forgive me. I'm back on my bullshit. As he's rubbing up against like this corner, just making a whole noise in the house. His mom, you know what? Yeah, I feel like we're getting Fuck, a little at the bit corner again. <laughs> I, you know, I don't feel like we're getting disrespected. Oh, I just think that. That these two are I, I have nothing not against the, the back scratcher. <laughs> they, I have nothing against um, the back scratcher. All I said is I don't I've never had an itch that I just like couldn't scratch. Yes. No, and I don't either. I can I can itch it with my with uh with my hands. I can reach my entire back with my hands too, but like something about the way like a back you can get it makes you it really so much easier get into it with a back scratcher. It's effortless at that point. Yeah. With, with, like, if you're trying to use your hand, you have to like really like bend your arm back and try to like find the right spot. Yeah, but there's like a there's a satisfaction with that. It's like when you do get it, it's even better. No, same with back scratcher. I mean, that's stupid. It's it's not like you're climbing a fucking mountain. You're scratching your back. (laughs) I don't. I'm not the one who needs a fucking back scratcher. Yeah. What? No. What are you talking? Whatever. Okay. Doesn't take that much effort. I'm just saying. Sometimes. A little bit of extra effort pays off. I'm just just saying. Sometimes that little bit of extra effort pays off. (laughs) Yeah. Work hard for. You, you're a man of working hard for what you deserve. I can't believe you don't want to put in the work to scratch your back. Ooh, it's real blue me. collar. It's working I'm, smarter, I'm not harder. No, I'm all about. I'm all about knowing people. Okay. Yeah, seriously. I know a guy who sells back scratchers, and I'm gonna go to him. I don't know. If like I really need to like scratch my back too, like I mean. You've got objects around your... Like, back your scratching corner. Make your own scratching yeah, corner. Yeah, see? Doesn't sound like that bad now, does it? Well, that's not a back scratcher, though. That's not an invention just to scratch your back. That's that's a cabinet that has another... It, I'm assuming it's a cabinet. I don't know. If you do own a back scratcher and somebody else uses that back scratcher, can you use that again? Like, in your own head? I'd, I'd say it depends on who it is. Well, like if, I if guess it depends. Are you using it like your bare back or using it like over the shirt? Off that back. Yeah, I mean, like if my dad just used it, like, again, j- exactly what Becker said, actually. If you use it on your bare skin, probably not going to use it again. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. That's like wearing shoes without socks. That's just, ugh, that, uh, why would yeah. you do that? Yeah, oh, that's man. disgusting. But we'll, we'll, we'll get Dude, into if somebody, that. What we're if somebody get into even that. wears my shoes with socks on, I'm never going to wear them again. Well, we're going to get They're into that. that person's so shoes. Just, okay. Okay, shit. Um, okay, so I'll continue with my bottom three. So the first one's back scratches. Up next, one that I don't think we'll disagree with at all. Not too controversial. Chalkboards. Um, Ooh, yep. Chalkboards fucking suck. I agree. Chalkboards. And, like, we're at a point where, like, my little brother has not experienced... I don't think he's experienced a chalkboard. Um, there's going to be a whole generation that doesn't know how much those things suck. Okay. So first of all, they're messy, disgusting. You have to like wash your clothes, take a shower after using one for more than two seconds. They get it gets all over you, uh, chalk dust everywhere, in your eyes sometimes. It's fucking disgusting. Also, they smell bad. They smell fucking terrible. If you go up to an old chalkboard that's been used and it's got like its erasers laying by it, it smells fucking awful. Um, 
they're gross. Like I said, it gets all over you. And if you got even like this, if it's a hot day and you've got like sweaty hands or something, guess what? Your hands are disgusting now. Um, it's not even that effective in its job. Its sole purpose is to write on a board and be able to wipe it off. I mean, granted, we didn't always have dry erase boards, but look at how just unbelievably better they are. Um, so also, not if you make the slightest wrong stroke with, yep. the, with the chalk, oh boy, you're gonna hear it. Yep, that was literally right next on my, uh, on the list. Bad noises. They make terrible noises. Like, you have to hold it perfectly, and, and oh man, the worst noise of all time, a bottom three noise, is nails on a chalkboard. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't see many redeeming factors with a chalkboard. Stay tuned for noises. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, did you guys have chalkboards, really? I was going to say, you like, you said your little brother didn't experience... I don't really ever remember experiencing chalkboards. Okay. I feel like we always had whiteboards. No, I experienced chalkboards. I remember like fifth only... grade that we had chalkboards. In the middle school? Yeah. There was I... no chance yeah, in yes, hell there was. Did. Where yes, I remember was. chalkboards was having, and it's the same place, Zach experienced chalkboards. Yep. <laughs> on, on those church? Wednesday night little church classes yep. that I was yeah. forced to go to. Yep. Oh boy, those chalkboards were something else. And then yeah. you're really, you know when you're really in the shits? You ever been past a slate? Oh, yeah, oh, then you're really oh, sucking seed yep. because it's not just you listening to one uh, big chalkboard getting scratched. No, you have to listen to a bunch of other 11-year-olds scratching their own individual smaller chalkboards. Hell. Yep. That's yeah. hell. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I guess, like, at my school across the street, uh, we were stuck in, like, the 80s, so we, we didn't have 80s. fancy... Yeah, we didn't have... Uh, fancy technology like whiteboards and smart boards that other privileged kids had we had fucking you, just a little tangent what what are the opinions on smart boards because like what i remember having smart boards in you know like 2010 2011 12 13 they were a cool idea but i feel like they just worked like 15 percent i, I, I of the think time, the they biggest always issue... needed to be calibrated well, I was gonna say, I think the biggest issue is that the the people operating them did not, did not quite understand oh, how to operate them. Very good point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were yeah, watching oh, nothing a... but fifty plus year olds try to use them. Right, oh, and it's like yeah. th they had a hard time texting on their phone. You know. So. <laughs> how do I download this new app? <laughs> <laughs> Says the fifty five year old football coach. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I remember smart boards were cool when I first tried it, but then it just got like kind of like oh, so it's like it's like a whiteboard, huh? It's kind of mundane after a while, yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, one more, one more, one more. Just to before you switch yeah, yeah. topics. Um. Uh, what's worse, uh, those little chalkboards or those projectors that were used with the the wet erase? Remember those? Yeah, oh, I like the projectors. The projectors were kind of cool. It was nerve wracking like when you had to like go in the class and write on one of those. Yeah, those. Uh, I don't have a problem with those. They were. That's like a. That's like another thing. That's like a thing. That's just like our generation. Same with the TV that would roll out. No, it's you know, yep. funny yep. because like I don't remember the last time I used that was like probably elementary school, and then during I think it was calculus or pre calc, we had we got a new teacher. And he was very old school. He was a retired math teacher, and he Irv. just yep Irv. And he refused <laughs> to le like learn how to use like the smart board and like, okay. uh, like the whiteboard even. So he just b rolled in one of those projectors, and we were like seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like this old guy just refuses to learn anything. He's like, well, I know what works. I want to use it. <laughs> and he's probably way more effective using that than a lot of those teachers using smart boards. Oh, yeah, for sure. I just thought it was funny that, like, those have been, like, out of date for so long, and here's this bitch ass just rolling in with one. <laughs> Don't you dare say bitch ass about my boy Irv. Sorry. See, that's like a feeling you, uh, the next generation, they won't really have that as much. That and uh, the feeling of walking into a classroom and you just see the box TV standing up there. Oh, you hell knew, yeah. You oh, knew yeah. you were in for an easy 50 minutes. It was amazing. Some real shit was oh, happening. God, yes. You guys want to watch Liberty Kids? <laughs> Magic School Bus? 
I don't think I know what the Liberty, Liberty Kids, Kids are. I forgot about That was a fifth Liberty grade Kids. thing. We'd always, like, like once a month or something. Oh, it was, like, history yeah, based, right? Yeah, we would just yeah. watch, like, these Liberty Kid videos and just, like, events in, his, like, American history. Yeah. See, see, when they rolled it out at my school, we were watching Passion of the Christ. Like, Oh, my lord. <laughs> like, it was, so, it was always some, like, dark shit. Um, but, yeah, those are uh, two of my bottom three. I've got one more here. Um... But, so, I was going to be really specific with it, uh, but I think, in general, they're all bad. But you guys know when you're leaving a grocery store or, like, a Walmart, and uh, you see those little vending machines that are outside with the gooey hands and the gooey eyes and oh, the little no. toys, the, yeah. like, gross... Um, yeah, those suck. Um, the fact that those were made... Uh, fucking you put like 25 cents and you get one of these shitty little toys oh man disgusting they're all terrible um i i i can't believe those haven't gone maybe they have gone extinct by now but terrible invention because you're you're just i'm looking at a point of view of like a kid getting this little gooey hand he'll play with for 20 minutes and then it's disgusting and it just ends up at places it's gonna end up in your car it's gonna end up in your house it's gonna fucking like it's just trash. You want to throw it away right when you get it. They're right, a waste. Finish this. Finish your finish your thought. That's a uh, that's it. That, okay. I'll leave it at you that. know what? I completely disagree. This is a trash. Yeah. What? This yeah. is a what? trash take because no goodness, way. Can you get better bang for your buck for twenty five cents than one of yes. those little? And this is you got to think from the mind of like a fucking eight or nine year old. I don't care how yeah. gross this thing is. I or even care a parent. Less. Yeah. 25 cents to keep uh, your kid entertained for an hour? You know what's... Oh, I can... Well, well, well let me It'll finish. It'll be like 20 minutes I can see why the parent tops. would get pissed because... What, but for a kid, if you're... That 25 cents, you're just slapping that thing up against windows, <laughs> oh, watching it yeah. stick. No, it's <laughs> accumulating. Those windows are getting filthy. It's not like you're the oh, one yeah. to no, clean them. The best so, thing to do with those is you sit like... Like, you know, like, one desk away from someone, and you just slap it on their piece of paper uh-huh. and just rip it from them. It just <laughs> yeah. comes right to you. They're little cheap shits. Um, they're made of, like, I don't even God knows, but I imagine it's biodegradable. So, even if you leave them somewhere, they're gonna eventually just uh, disintegrate, <laughs> evaporate. I don't know, they're made of, like, weird gel. I, I, don't, I don't see how those last, but hmm. who knows. Either way, a fantastic bang for your buck for a kid. I, I, if couldn't, you're, I couldn't hate if this you're, take more. If you're a kid... Go for it. Guess what? I'm 22. Guess I'm not what? It's fucking... not meant for you. Yeah, guess what? Well, still, I'm looking at a point of view of little shitheads running around with this gross, <laughs> disgusting, picking up dirt, picking up dust, picking You're up fucking filth. You're telling me you were one of these little shitheads? I did it once and I was disgusted by it. I don't believe I had that. fun for like, I again, I had fun for 20 second. minutes yeah. until after like, after, I mean, Max fucking like 20 hits it's like minecraft or animal crossing while we're at it it fucking just breaks and it's useless and it's disgusting it always gets lost somewhere and the outcome of it is just filthy because if you're a kid you're never gonna want to throw it away if it's giving making you fun so you toss it underwater and it gets even more disgusting no, it was like, you know, they're the filthy so i didn't mind throwing it away because guess what it's it was 25 like a buck cents to get 15 more yeah I don't know. I always thought they were filthy. They are disgusting toys. I like, play with something else. Kids. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. That's so much That's okay. Putty. Silly putty's fine. I'm talking, like, those little gooey, the eyeballs, too, where it's like you throw them at something, okay, they I don't want to pouch the eyeballs. I'm just talking about the hands. I will not throw okay. the eyeballs. I'm talking about that whole genre of sticky toys that are just disgusting. Filthy. Oh, genre I can't stand sticky them. toys. Yeah, mm. I hope they're extinct. They can leave. But yeah, just run through my bottom three. Apparently controversial. I didn't think this would be controversial at all. Uh, so back scratchers, chalkboards, and uh, gooey toys. I don't know. Okay. So my bottom three. I think we're gonna. I'll start out with a. This should be a unanimous number one. Toe shoes. Oh, yeah, fuck off. God. Yeah, that's, that's no, pretty good. Those things are those cool. Shoes, good. Those shoes are sick, dude. Have you ever put what? them on, Kyle? I've never worn one. They kind of slap. I had two pairs of toe shoes. Dude, I put them on once, and my God, they were actually super comfortable. They're very oh, comfortable. Very comfortable. You can, they're, they're also like amphibious. You can wear them yeah. in the water. You can wear them on land. Dude, they're very nice. It's like the rich man's version of a croc. That's I exactly must be in hell. Is. So this is my list, and I'm going to rip these things a new asshole anyways. 
So, toe shoes are disgusting. You want to talk about not wearing sho- or socks with your shoes? That's the prime example. And people oh, just socks. Shoes. Yeah. Oh, That's- those sound terrible too. Oh. Uh, never mind, Kyle. Finish it. I'm sorry for interrupting. Ay, ay, ay. I just, I, I know, I, I'm not, I'm not mad. You're interrupting. I'm just, I'm just shocked that there's people who are defending this trash. That you're gonna go for a run with your sweaty ass bare feet and tell me this is actually the way the human body was designed. It was perfect and perfectly encapsulate the shoe. Fuck off. Get out of here. Since when has the human body ever been better than actual inventions that are meant to supplement it? Give me a normal pair of running shoes, and I'm going to go way faster than I normally would than I would wearing fucking toe shoes. What are you going to do? You wear them with, usually, I guarantee you people are wearing those things without socks. They're called toe shoes. Yep. People aren't wearing those with fucking socks. You're going to wear, you're going to run in those, you're going to come back, they're going to stink up your whole fucking closet. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Nobody likes looking at feet. Okay, actually, I shouldn't say nobody, but I think- <laughs> watch, watch yourself, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Sorry to the foot, uh, the foot fans out there, but uh, yeah, toe shoes. Get the fuck out of here if you want toe nah. shoes. Yeah, I've been trying to look for just... some for a while actually, and I haven't had any. Luck. Vibram, Vibram, that's Vibram. Uh, that's company I'm writing this Vibram. down. Yes. Yep. See, no, I, I if you're wearing them in the water as, like, water shoes, maybe then, like, I get it. If you're wearing those in public, man, what are you doing? But why oh, you... it's they're a terrible look, but, oh, like, when I, when I wore them, I had them in high school and stuff, and I would just wear them, like, around the house. Like, they were, they were super, yeah, like, like, like wearing, doing, doing work outside the house, you know what I mean? I don't know, I, I really liked them. Yeah, every shoe has its purpose, and its purpose isn't to, like, go out in the town, it's for, like... I don't know, going in water, like, general worker on the house or whatever it is. See, you know what you could do instead is you could buy a $2 pair of water shoes for the water because that you're not going to use them that often. I'm not going to pay the 80 bucks for a fucking pair of toe shoes just to go in the water every once in a while. That's true. And if I'm doing some work around the house, I think everybody's got some shitty New Balances or white Nikes. Hey, don't talk shit about New Balance. Well... Kyle, maybe I don't have shitty New Balances or white. I have great maybe New Balances. Maybe I have balances. a pair of Vibram toe shoes, okay? Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, I have a great pair of New Balances, so. I'm not shitting on New Balances, but every, like it's easy to get like a shitty pair of New Balances. I've never worn them. Maybe they're cool. The, um, do you maybe they're comfortable. I mean, cool? they aren't cool. No, I, 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 should, re- I should rephrase mm-hmm. that. You know maybe they're you know comfy. What's comfy. Like a pair of moccasins. Just wear that. I'm okay wearing stuff that, Crocs, that the honestly. general public does not think is cool, Kyle. Yeah, same okay? here. You this should mind. be right up. This should be right up your alley, you hipster. Yeah, except here's the difference. You can wear something that's like a little, like a little out there, a little different. I don't want to see the shape of your goddamn feet, Kyle. <laughs> you don't have to. Don't You're look at my feet. You're never gonna see me in toe shoes. <laughs> yeah. God, You're I never hope I never. You're never gonna see me in toe shoes. Well, toe shoes are a bad look in general. That's a shitty one. Moving on. So my next one, and uh, this, you see if you can pick up what I'm throwing down. Um, I am going to be talking about swords. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. Anime now. swordsman? No. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. So, swords obviously made of iron. Later, once that iron was oxidized, became steel. Now you're thinking, hmm, this was a useful tool for, I don't know, things such as warfare. Um, it created uh, an interesting culture. No, 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 get that trash out of here. Because if we didn't have swords, we wouldn't have some of the, uh, the sword-related media that came after. And some of that sword-related media is fine. But what did that sword-related media lead to? Video games. Oh, yes. And if that didn't happen, and because that actually did happen, I should say, they added another fucking Fire Emblem character to Smash. I am picking up what you're putting down, Pate. I'm My picking it up. Goodness. What what a fucking mistake that was. Terrible. If we didn't have swords, we wouldn't have to deal with so many of the same kind of characters What a Smash. roundabout fucking answer that was. No, I mean, it makes sense. He's got sense. a good point. Uh, he, I mean, is he wrong? in the past caused a lot of uh, unneeded bloodshed back in the day, so... It's, it's like you can uh, blame the wheel for all the car accidents. No, the wheel's not on my list. But you can you can make that argument though, like the wheel causes a bunch of accidents, so if the That's wheel That's fine. You know what the wheel didn't cause? Shitty smash characters. That's my big point. 
You could also make the argument that Minecraft servers led to cyberbullying. Actually, and I would actually, I think that actually. <laughs> <laughs> good nah. but the wheel you know what that's actually a better list for why it is on my top three because the wheel led to cars cars led to race cars race cars led to uh racing video games and captain falcon is from f-zero so we wouldn't have one of the coolest smash characters without the wheel oh. we also have a great game on the crew too so yeah that's exactly. also very true so yeah back to why yeah swords trash thank you for giving us uh some more Fire Emblem characters in Smash. Thank you for giving us neckbeards who think they can live by the sword. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, goodbye, swords. But I, I, think uh, the, I think an argument for swords is that lightsabers were influenced by swords. That's my one counter argument. Okay, fair. But, but they aren't swords, so... But to encapsulate a little bit for my, for my, my final one... Um, Talking about, you know, we don't like neckbeards and all that. Uh, it's cut from the same cloth. Uh, my bottom three invention of all time is anime. What a mistake. Whoa! Whoa! What an absolute mistake. And this, huh? is coming, this is coming from somebody who's a fan of the genre. But wow. my goodness, anime what is was happening? a total mistake. It led to a generation of uh, interesting... Uh, it's, it's an interesting culture. We should say um, this is so out of left field. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I'm really. It's, it shocked shouldn't be that this. out of left field. I hate myself. So okay, that's fair. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, anime, terrible invention. Um, why is there so much fucked up hentai? Wow. Wow. I, I, I'm just. You don't I'm have just, one without the other. Yeah. It's two I'm sides just of shocked the same coin. that. I, I'm just shocked that. Wow. Makes you think. I'm self-aware. I completely agree. I think the <laughs> culture around it is kind of it just, it just went it just went south. And without I don't anime, know, I we like, wouldn't have anime swordsmen and smash. There there are a lot of um a lot of like a lot of weebs uh on Twitter though. Like a lot of weeb Twitter accounts that I think are very funny. Mm-hmm. So Oh yeah, I follow a good a good ton of them. Um I'm a degenerate, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, my god, the net the net negatives are uh, do not outweigh. So yeah, my bottom three: toe shoes, swords, and anime. Wow! But without anime, we wouldn't have Corey in the house. That's true. Oh fuck! Or I guess he got it. I guess he got it. Oh, we wouldn't have King of the Hill yeah. either. You really got to weigh your options, I guess. What you I'm gonna take need away a minute one to reevaluate. And, yeah, I don't blame you. All right, so I'll start off my bottom three with. A recurring thing I've brought up before, chords. <laughs> I think Fair. chords are the goddamn worst invention of mankind. They serve a great purpose, but goddamn, they're the biggest headache in my life. I wish they just took time in like history to just see how they could avoid inventing chords, like making them wireless. Every single chord wireless, so you won't have them like crossing and tying knots in each other, ripping out of your, ripping a chord out of your phone. So your phone's not charging in the middle of the night. Just make everything wireless. They should have just taken the time to understand wireless technology before even thinking about making cords a public thing. And yeah, that's a that's a good take. That's the correct take. And you versus cords is a number one rivalry yep. of the podcast. I think. And let me tell you, it is like cords a thousand, me zero. <laughs> I've never won a battle with cords, I, and I will uh, yeah. never win one. I, I haven't either, to be fair. No, nah, I think it's hard. Suck. It's hard to beat cords. So that's a, a bottom tier invention. Like I said, very important, but I hate yeah. them. Okay, yeah, that's um, fine. yeah, dude. I'm I am looking at my desk right now. Oh God, yeah. And yep. my God, yep. I hate I'm not it. looking anymore. Yep, I, hate I feel it. that. <laughs> so, number two, I'm going to put safety scissors. What, what exactly is that? They're, yeah, what's the difference? So, safety scissors are like for kids that have like a rounded, like a rounded nose, so they like not pointy at the end. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 But they just don't work ever. Like it's safety true. scissors just don't cut. So there's no point. I in the feel safety- like they're made out of a different material. 
Like they don't seem to like keep a sharp edge. They for don't very long. because they're yeah. safety scissors and they just don't work as scissors. They're like fucking plastic. If you like wasting money, just buy a pair of safety scissors and throwing it immediately in the trash because that's what they're good for. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? This is why this are is you true. Using safety, no, safety scissors. I'm not using safety scissors currently because I know better. And, but and like, for good reason. <laughs> when I was younger, we would always have safety scissors because that's what we would have in like school and shit, and they just didn't work half the time. So I'm like, well, this is just the the most useless thing I've ever used. Might they as well just weaker throw it than away. The, they're weaker than the construction paper that they were meant to cut. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I would just try cutting something, paper. and it would just break the scissors immediately. So, yeah, safety scissors, big ass. They stink. And then, yeah. number three, interest rates. <laughs> I, yes, I understand the purpose. Welcome, comrade. I understand it helps, like, people who, give, like, give out loans makes them a profit and gives them like lets them stay in business but Fetters it negatively it impacts me because i have to pay interest and i don't like that so i think it's a bottom bottom tier invention i understand the importance of them but i don't like them because it causes me a hassle and i have to pay more money for things that i sh- don't want to pay more money for so going off of that preach king credit scores are you a fan of credit scores? I, you know what? Maybe I would be a fan of them if I understood them. Yeah, that's All the I thing. know I is really I have know. a good credit score, but I don't know how, and I don't know what it means. Imagine yeah. having a good credit okay. score. Whack. Like, I always see those like credit score commercials, and I just have no idea what it signifies. If it just allows me to, like, okay, you you have a good credit score. You pay your, st- you pay your stuff on time. You can get this loan. We'll give you this money for a loan because we know that. Or you'll pay it when off. I went that's go- what am I that's my assumption of it. Before I bought before I bought my new truck, I went to check my credit score and I lost points on my credit score for checking my credit score. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Which, what is that what? about? That's uh that is a yeah. Ch- that is the most capitalist thing you could ever think of is the fact that you either have to pay money to check your credit score or by checking your the other option is checking your credit score and losing credit for it. Like what? The What's the point? Fuck How are you supposed that? to know your credit score if you don't check it? Like Kyle said, you have to pay money. Yeah, honestly, that's the point. What? Or if you, or if you even, um, like another thing was like when not this pickup, I got it through the same bank I got it through last time. But so if you like search around and get quotes from different banks on loans, that can that can hurt your credit score. Not even yep. getting the loan, just searching other places for loans. It's to dissuade you from actually checking your options. It's so stupid. It's like it's like Damn. the same principles like a cancellation fee. You have to yeah. pay a hundred and twenty bucks to cancel a one hundred dollar ticket. Fuck out of yeah. here. <laughs> That's so yeah. stupid, man. So yeah. So my bottom three cords, safety scissors, and interest rates. Damn, it's crazy. Becker's always bringing politics up on the podcast. It's, it's crazy, Becker. It's unbelievable. Politics, interest rates, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine thinking they're not connected. <laughs> no, I'm like I, I understand they're connected, but just assuming that one just implies the other. Yes, political Becker. So my bottom three inventions. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Man. Jeff Bezos. My, he's... He's a top. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would be he would be closer to the top, because I love Amazon. Oh, I'm but, sorry, I meant um, Jeff Bezos. Oh, bottom. Um, my number one, I guess these are in no particular order, but Snapchat filters, other than the one with the cat sitting on your head. <laughs> oh, that's, um, a, that's a good one. I... I feel like I don't ever like I don't ever see Snapchats anymore without filters, and it's not like I need to see like the reg- I don't know they're I, they're just so they're very very annoying to me. I think they're all like super. A lot of them are super cringy when people try to be funny with them. I don't know. If you want to send me a picture of you, just send me a picture of you. I know what you look like. I you're not you're not covering anything up. Your the the hearts underneath your eyes. I don't think they're I don't think they're cute. You know I don't know. Says you. I'm not a 
Says me, exactly. <laughs> Says me. Um, if, if there's I don't not know. a cat on top of your head, I don't want to fucking see it. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I never see any pictures that don't have like some sort of filter on it. So, see, I don't hate that. Those that seems kind like a filters. very boomer esque kind of take, but mm-hmm. I don't hate those kind of filters because I think it kind of falls under the same thing as like. If somebody wants to wear makeup, they're well within their own right. It's you know what I mean. It's that kind of thing. I hate those no. filters that are like super like just weird and extra. That was just yeah. No, I don't. I don't mind the ones where it's like because there are some like I remember when they first came out on um, on Snapchat. Like there was one where it was like I would put it on because it would look like if I had like a pimple or something, it would like take it off. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, I kind of get why girls wear makeup and like shit. Like you know what I mean? Like that kind of made me understand that mm-hmm. shit. But, like, I don't know, the stuff where it's, like, you know, there's a beard, you know, it, it adds a beard and sunglasses to your... I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of them. The, uh, the filter that, like, shrinks your face and makes you, you have a really large mouth... Oh, I hate that one. That filter oh. can go straight to hell. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And yeah. everyone, people love that one. They really do. Hey, look, at my, look at my filter. big teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I look use. goofy. It's just like it just moves your nose to your forehead, kind of, kind of slaps. <laughs> that one's kind of funny. Yeah, that one, that one slaps. <laughs> so, like, there are some funny ones. Yeah, but. the one I, I'm looking at them right now. The one where like it, it makes you look like you're smiling really big. If you guys know uh, all, Uncle Adam's alter eagle Cletus, it's the one that he uses. Oh, um, yeah, that's a good not one. Sure, what you're saying here? Wow, I thought some Uncle Adam's. Oh, Uncle would Adam's know. Cletus. Oh, okay, Cletus. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I, I just, I just, I didn't hear the uncle. I just heard Adams. Oh no, yeah, Uncle Adams, the Cletus filter. Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's a good one. The goblin yes. filters they make him. <laughs> no. <laughs> but the cat one is like the goat filter, I think. Oh yeah, the, the cat, cat one has good. to be the best. I'm looking at this yeah. right now, and I don't feel like this was always a thing. But I'm like, I'm so scrolling through the filters, and you know the ones that are just like supposed to just like ads. No, 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 not the oh, not those. The ones that are just like supposed to be like the plain Jane, just like uh, make your face like a little more matte, like kind of just pretty or whatever. Yeah. Um, it like changes the shape of my eyes a little bit. It makes them like bigger. It's really weird. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I, I didn't notice, notice that. that before. Small hands, yeah. paint. Small eyes, paint. No, I got big, <laughs> cu- cute eyes right now. <laughs> there's uh, there's I an guess. alien one that I just found out about. I'm gonna that, send you uh, Snapchat. Tell me I don't look cute. Yeah. All right, won't be that hard. Yeah, give me just a sec. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna say, damn. Looking cute. Oh, Zach, no. Oh, God. <laughs> just, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, Zach. That, that oh, alien one. I kind of like that one. See? <laughs> I kind of like that one. I don't like that. I'll tell you what I do like, though. <laughs> we, might, we might have to tweet these pictures out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy yeah, shit. Check out the Farmcast uh, Twitter at the Farmcast yeah. Pod if you yeah, want some exclusive content. There will be some cute pics up uh, yeah. in the next yeah. couple days. You. Holy shit. So, no, another um, thing Another thing with these Snapchat filters, you never get the same one like the next day. They're always different, and it pisses me off because I can't find the cat one, and that's the only cool one. Oh, oh like, that yeah, that sucks. I one with me right now. I wish, I wish you could save them. You know, they, they like mm-hmm. cycle through them. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Um, yeah, so my next one, um, I think you guys will be with me here. Uh, public bathrooms. Mmm. I, okay. obviously, I understand why they're there, mm-hmm. and obviously, I have used public bathrooms, but I will do whatever I can to not use a public bathroom. And not even just because, like, this was, like, way before, like, the... The COVID-19 and coronavirus stuff. I There is never one bathroom. There's, there was one place where public bathrooms are always clean. And that was Quick Trip. Quick Trip does a fantastic yep. job of keeping their bathrooms clean. But most public bathrooms are absolutely disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I would much no, rather... No. I would much rather take a piss outside. A candidate for top three invention are those, uh, those like, automatic things that, like, when somebody's done with the toilet, they automatically, like, cover it with that, like, sheet of paper. You ever see yeah. that? 
That's you know, the invention ever. Yeah. We don't have that technology where I'm from. No, I don't either. We're we're, yeah, we're no. far too poor over here for that. I'm pretty that sure that's like a Europe thing. Like they've got something cool like that. It ought like like you're talking about like those. They have dispensers like behind a lot of toilets, like in public bathrooms, to put the paper thing. It automatically does that. Yeah. Either I've seen I've this seen actually those. happen, or this was just like a fever dream that ended up being a really good idea. No, I, I've seen that a video on Twitter a while ago. I don't know if it ever came into like I don't know how okay. big it got, but I saw like a video of it, that thing because I, I know what you're talking about. Um, I, but I don't Fetter, necessarily I, go ahead. I, I think this is a great. I think this is a great spot. Um, specifically, I want to add on to this because you just triggered something. Um, bar bathrooms at like popular bars that have a a trough oh, or never, only like two urinals been. that are right next to each other oh yeah i i've never do been you to wa- a place that has a trough do you I want me pissing on the other guy like what the fuck's your problem no, why are you doing this troughs are the worst because for some reason i developed like becoming a shy peer for whatever reason like i never used everyone to does too. and then, everyone does it's not even yeah, that it's not like, even like a you even thing. if there's a wall between like the two urinals i'll still just like wait till the other guy's done and just, like, go because for some reason I just can't get it out. And I don't it know just, what no. happened to me. I used to be a confident peer. And the trough just makes it worse. I remember I went to, like, what was it, Big Ten Championships for wrestling. And yeah, it was yeah. in Minnesota, and every single bathroom there was a trough. Yep. And I would you go from, like, bathroom to bathroom, and, like, I knew I had to pee, but I just couldn't. Until, I like, I, I got to, like, like, a certain like... spot, like, in the corner by no one, and I could yeah. finally go. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. You know, I feel like if there was a trough, I would just go into the stall. Yeah, but that's such yes. a big that's line too. Yeah. yeah, so you just gotta whip so. out. No, the I do that. And, uh, if that's if that's the option, go in the uh, the trough. Hate to see it. The trough is just. I can't believe some places still, still have Wrigley that. Field. There's well, I there's <laughs> there's two bars in Milwaukee that have it. And two bars that I like very much. Can't pee there because it's a <laughs> fucking trough. God. And, like, if you check it... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah, you, you can go, Fetter. No, I'm just... I've never... I've never... I actually, I've actually been to Wrigley Field a couple times, and I don't remember that, but um, maybe I didn't use the bathroom. I'm not sure. Um, but I don't... Yeah, I don't understand, like, what the point is. Like, it's not like the 1930s anymore. Like, we have, yeah. like, plumbing everywhere. No, I don't either, frankly. And, like... What what the fuck? I just I hate them so much. It's like what are you going for? Plus, if you like go into the bathroom and you kind of like peek by the urinal area and you see a trough and there's one guy, now you're obligated to go there. Otherwise, you you know, feel weird. And then if you go there and you can't pee, you just gotta stand there like an idiot. Stand there with your cock <laughs> yeah. In your yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah yeah. And like I'll just like start sweating. I'm like, oh, this yep. sucks. This sucks. Then people this behind sucks. you, you're just you're just sitting there with your schmate in your hand. So and what is when it's worst. busy, like when it's busy, because I'm assuming that's where, like, the, that's the reason they have them, right? So it's just like it's supposed to probably be quicker. You can probably get more people in there, like in not less even, space. Pissing, not even right? that. Honestly. But I mean, are you like, are you standing like shoulder to shoulder with people? Damn near close to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's, it's like maybe a foot apart. Maybe that's strange to me. I yeah, don't like that. It's fucking weird. I hate it. I have to whip out my phone and just pretend I'm somewhere else. <laughs> But then it looks like I'm taking like pics of my dick, and it's like this is even worse. <laughs> There's no winning with a trough. Yeah, no I don't winning. know if you can pull your phone out in a situation I know. like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I if know. That's a good move. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, public bathrooms. Not a fan. Okay. Um, my last one. This this last one is I don't know I don't know how many people agree with me on this one, but um, chip clips. What are oh, for like bags of chips? Eh. Um, why? Well, so I get um, I, usually if I buy a bag of chips, I get the cheddar and sour cream, yep. Lay's, mm-hmm. um, or no Ruffles, Ruffles, not Lay's. I don't know why I said Lay's, gross. Um, but um, I mean this this also is a me thing. I am absolutely one hundred percent like addicted to those things they are like fucking crack Mm -hmm. yeah when i eat one i'm eating almost the whole bag every single time i have no need for a chip clip also (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, dude. That's, that's, that's why you don't those, like them. Those, oh, those, man. No, those are, like, those are like heroin, those chips. Yeah, they are I, so fucking right. good. Yeah. Um, and also, I can just roll the bag up. It's just another thing that, like, I just, I just don't need it. Yeah, but if you roll the whatsoever. if you yeah. roll the bag up and it comes undone. Yeah, it comes undone. And then you just no, have stale. Dude, if you do it right. No, if you do it dude. right, you don't yes. it doesn't. If you tuck it, yes. knows. you can do it yeah. right, dude. There's I a right way a video, to do it. I saw a video on Twitter when I was like it was probably like my freshman or sophomore year of high school, where you have to fold the corners yep. in and then you roll it down a little bit, you tuck in the back side. Yeah. This is very hard to explain. Zach understands no, what I'm saying. No, I, I saw that same exact video freshman year of high school. The yeah, same, like I know exactly sealed. what you're talking about. It works perfect. I always yes. use it. I 100% suggest looking that up. If anyone needs a good way to roll chip bags, Fenner's on. The, he's on point with this take. This is yeah. perfect. Yeah, you. there is no need for chip clips, my friends. Yeah, it's true. Um... Yeah, I think this the bigger issue is is that I am very addicted to those chips, and they're the only chips I buy, and I I eat them all. Yeah, you so. got to expand the horizons a bit, but they're good chips. I'm not saying I don't eat any other chips, but if I want to, if I'm going to buy a bag of chips, I'm going to buy my favorite bag of chips. Yeah, Fenner, <laughs> yeah. looking looking to buy a new bag of chips, he sees those ruffles, he says, "Lord, forgive me." <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's not like again. if if I have like just a couple of those chips. I instantly need more. Yeah, dude. that's why I cannot. I will. At one time, I bought a family size. I'm like, oh, I'm good for. I'm good for a week. <laughs> so you, uh, I'm good for about four say, hours. Let's just say that did not. And then the <laughs> next morning, I just felt like <laughs> garbage. <laughs> you feel terrible, dude. Oh man, I had to like do a fucking Becker move and work out just to Hell kick yeah. it from my system. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh fuck those. <laughs> ugh. I feel like they they're dehydrate amazing. you really bad too. Oh yeah, that, all that oh, salt. Dude, there's oh. so much salt. Yeah, you got to you got to drink a gallon of water just to flush the system. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, my bottom three were Snapchat filters, public bathrooms, and chip clips. Hmm. All right. Yeah. I think uh, I think we had some good lists today. This was uh, this was a solid list of top and bottom inventions. Um. But Can yeah, you thank you guys. Was? I think me. Well, okay, no, my ch- my chalkboard bottom three makes me definitive winner. So I that's have swords, terrible. toe shoes, and anime. I think uh, that's you got some stiff competition. I don't know if you can beat cord, safety, scissors, and interest rates. <laughs> Dude, interest <laughs> rates. I mean, I like my list. I'm tempted to go with Becker's just because of interest rates. Interest rates suck. No. Yeah. See Welcome, comrades. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening uh, to another Wait, can, episode. Can I just say one more thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I just have like my PlayStation on, and I lately I've been getting a whole bunch of these random messages that say like, "Oh, the world is ending," and they're typing like, um, like Cam Newton does on Instagram, like yep, with yep. fucking wing dings. And um, I just got one from Simone FP three F that says, "Bebek Bergelan, Bourbon Dong, Bon Dong, Akan Tempai, Barang Alang, Turbang, Sender Doc Firmer." That's so fucking weird, dude. Sounds like she's into you. What is what? What is up with these fucking bots, man? That's that's that should have been on my bots? bottom three inventions. Bots. <laughs> Sounds like hell. Yeah, they're terrible. Yeah. Well, for everybody at the farm cast, Burba Dong Bon Dong. <laughs> <laughs> and that message is from Doc to you. Straight from the yeah. heart. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. a real straight shooter, Pers- that Doc. Speaking Personalized of message. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again for listening to another episode of the farm cast, another top three, bottom three. Uh, make sure you follow us, subscribe uh, to all of our listening platforms. So Apple, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, you can check us out all there. Our previous episodes, uh, give us a follow and give us a five star review on Apple. If you listen to Apple podcasts, uh, it will be Apple. greatly appreciated. Um, and also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the farm cast pod. We got some good content there uh, and probably some Snapchat pictures, maybe, Um, But yeah, follow us on all those places and thanks again for listening. Bye.